What up, is Spark? Sparko. <laughs> Sam, Sam, what up? How you doing? How you doing? <sighs> it was a rough night, but I'm I'm making it. You know, um, <laughs> this is uh, it's kind of mm-hmm. hard when when I when I see a, a, a lot of you all and, and talk to you all and 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 from when um, um, everyone career started. Mm-hmm. And to uh, for us to be here today in this type of yes. conversation, I know, sad, huh? Yeah, and you know, it was a lot of times some things we we didn't talk about on the radio, right? I'm sure. Um, and sometimes we would get phone calls. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Uh, mm-hmm. Sparkle is here on the show today. What's good? What's What's good? Up? So uh your Instagram, I'm pretty sure after last night, surviving mm-hmm. R. Kelly mm-hmm. one, um, was was going in. You crazy. probably get a lot of DMs and people hitting you up. I mean, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to ask yeah. some of these these questions that people want that they're asking. So these are really so- social media questions. Yeah. Yes, from your, from your Let's fans, and yeah. So, okay, I want to I want to want to be clear. So, you met Rob when? At what point did you meet R. Kelly? I met him way back when, um, early his early start in '89 when he was working with Billy Ocean. Okay. In the studio, um, one of my girlfriends and he were good friends, and she wanted him to hear me sing. Um, I didn't sing for him that night, but um, some years later. Um, I came back around um, with some other friends of mine and sang, and I was asked to do backgrounds on Aaliyah's first album. Okay. And and you're actually on there, uh, what's your government name, as as the backgrounds, mm-hmm. <laughs> as doing background yes. on her first album, correct? Yes, yes. Me and I, I brought in another, uh, my, one of my girlfriends to help me sing Yeah, a right. little later on. Right. And how old were you then? Lord, I don't remember. <laughs> were, were, were you of legal age? <laughs> oh yeah, I yeah. was of legal age. Yeah. yeah. And so you didn't meet him when mm-hmm. with public announcement. Oh yeah, I was around um, around that time. I was around when public announcement okay. was was happening. Yeah, I know the fellows. Yeah. Now, now, we're, now, you and Earl, you you and Earl were married for a quick second. Okay. <laughs> and and then so for a hot second, and then um, later. Uh, you signed to Rockland Records after the whole Aaliyah thing went down. Is that correct? Yes. Um, in 97, 96, 97, I, I signed up um, to Rockland, yeah. So I, I want to go back to the, the show when you said that when you was at his house and you heard the knock, mm-hmm. that knock. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and at first people tried to ignore it. Yeah, and I'm just... You know, it was kind of my first time being at his crib, so I'm just like looking around, like ain't nobody gonna announce that mm-hmm. or address it, brother. And um, I was like, Robert, you here to knock? Yeah. And he just kept watching TV, and then I was like, Yo, I said some words. I was mm-hmm. like, You, you know, you hit it. Mm-hmm. And then he did, you know, what I said on on the piece last night. Yeah. And so when she came out, when he had finally let her come out to get something to eat. How mm-hmm. how, did, how did you feel as, as as a woman seeing how this woman were, was was pretty much had to ask for permission to come out to eat and then you find out it was his wife later? How did you, how did you feel? I was pissed off at him and I told him so. I, you know, I'm very can- I was very candid with Robert at mm-hmm. all times. Um, you know, I spoke my piece to him, and you know, we were like brother and sister, so I felt like I can talk to him that way. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I just had him like, you shouldn't be doing that. That that, that ain't what, right. What did he say? He just chuckled. And I was like, that, that ain't funny. Yeah. And and so. Um... So, yeah, you know what, um, Sam? It's a lot of stuff that isn't aired yeah. because there's so many people involved in the piece. It's a lot. That I'm sh- Yeah, that I'm sure that they cut and slice stuff up that, you know, the people don't get to see. But, you know, at the end of the day, the truth is the truth. And, you know, what it wasn't what wasn't what, what what wasn't aired that you wanted to be aired? Because I know how editing goes. So what? what well, yeah. You know. um, 
you know, people were trying to say that um, I knew, I knew, I knew. But I really did not know. I didn't know at all. Didn't know, know what? Didn't um, know what? Didn't didn't know that he was doing things with my niece and to my niece. Mm-hmm. I did not know. Um, I brought her around in the hopes that he would make her career. Um, she was um, a rapper, a dope rapper. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to share the wealth with my family. We were all musical family. Mm-hmm. So I brought the entire family around. Because her father played him. the bass, right? Did her father play the bass no, or the guitar I introdu- Yeah, I, I uh, brought him in to play guitar for Robert. I wanted him, Robert to hear him play because he's a dope um, guitarist. Mm-hmm. And he put him on a few of his um song so right. yeah, I, yeah i brought the whole family in to you know i didn't want to be selfish with with it with what god had blessed me with i wanted to share the um the stardom if you will mm-hmm. and when you when you saw her there that day alone and then she mm-hmm. says she said she was spending the night for they was having a party somewhere or whatever yeah, i was i was pissed off mm-hmm. and i i immediately hollered at my sister like what you doing why is she here by herself mm-hmm and the explanation was, oh, they're having a party, but we're going to meet up around with them later. Mm-hmm. But nah, you got to keep watching out for these young people. Even even if, you know, you see or you feel that Robert wouldn't do anything, and in the end he did, you should have kept an eye on her. I wasn't there, mm-hmm. you know, at all times. So 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 do, do so do you do you uh, when you saw that had you heard rumors? You was there ha- around about yeah, Aaliyah. I, you, you, did I you- was around there with Aaliyah, but you know what? With the Aaliyah thing, I honestly really thought that was a hoax, and th- that me being naive at that time, you know, shame on me. But I really didn't. I thought it was a hoax. I was like, that couldn't be. I mean, she underage. How, how was she gonna get married anyway? That's a hoax. Like a lot of people probably believed. What do you believe now? Oh, I believe it to be true. You believe it to be true. So yeah. you, you didn't see anything they were too, you know, were they too close, too close, anything to make you? See, around that time, I was solely in the recording studio to mm-hmm. record. I didn't see any of the going-ongs outside of the studio or what shenanigans was happening. I didn't know of anything. So in, in, in turn, which, you know, led me to introduce my niece and to introduce my family, not knowing that, you know, my brother, so to speak, would do Anything like that. Yeah. And I, I want to go to this. Go through this real quick. Did you ever mm-hmm. see Aaliyah without her parents? I didn't. Okay, her parents are always honestly around. Didn't. When I was around, yeah, that's what I saw. Either her mom or her dad. So I'm going by and her, her statement because and her brother and her brother was around too. So yeah. I mean, you know, um, Javante stated that she saw it. You know, and if yeah. she did, and I'm sure there's somebody else to corroborate it because if if they're on if if they're on tour, there's other people on the bus. Yeah. So you know, I, I can't negate what she saw. You know, make, I'm sure there's if there is somebody that can um, corroborate the story. Yeah. Um, let's go. Let's go back to your niece. So when mm-hmm. the tape came out, yes. Um, this this tape that he was found not guilty of. Hmm. Um. What went through your mind? What did you say? When did you find out? How did you find Where were you? What happened? I found out earlier than the world found out, if you will. I'm sure some handlers or people around him probably knew or what have you. But even prior to, let's, let me go back before that. Prior to the, even seeing the tape, I had gotten a couple calls from some of his inner people saying, look, your niece is down here by herself. What's up? What is your sister thinking? Um, because at that time, I was now gone from mm-hmm. the situation. I had to be released from Robert in 99, got the release, and I was on to Motown. Mm-hmm. And um, so when I got those calls, I called the authorities to see what my rights were and what I could do. Mm-hmm. Um, my hands were tied in, in doing too much, and, but they looked into the situation for me. They and, did. And how old was she then? 12 or 13? She was 13? Uh, she was probably, she was probably 13. Mm. Yeah, she was probably 13. But, um, and then as far as the tape, me, um, um, viewing the tape, there was a lawyer in Chicago who reached out to me, got my home phone number. And I don't know how that happens, you know, (laughs) Chicago, (laughs) but, um, he got my number and called me and was like, look, there's a tape 
that ha- is possibly has your niece on it with R. Kelly. Um, can you get your sister and your brother-in-law to uh, retain me so I can um, go at R. Kelly for them on their behalf? Mm. I said, absolutely not, because I don't know that that is my niece. So I would have to view the tape or you show me a photo or something and, and then I'll go from there. Um, he set up a time. That, um, one of his assistants came to my house, and I viewed the first couple seconds. I knew in, in this instant that it was her and him. And um, right after he left, called my family and then called the authorities. What did? I didn't hesitate. Was it clear enough to know that it was her? Absolutely. Okay. And you got a mirror. You got a mirror near you. <laughs> no. Look do, in it. Look at my phone. Do you know, do you, do you, yeah, I can look at my phone you right know, now. You know yourself? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how clear it is. So when you when this news was broke to her father and to her mother, 